Hello everyone, welcome to the third video from Exam Freak. Today in this video we are going to talk about the relationship between algebra and geometry. In algebra, we deal with a lot of functions, equations and expressions. But what do those equations and expressions represent? They sometimes represent a curve, they sometimes represent a straight line. So there are different properties of those curves and a straight line. And that comes under the topic of geometry. It's pretty obvious that there is a very close relationship between geometrical objects and algebra. Because algebraic equations are required to represent uh, geometric shapes and figures. So today in this video I'm going to explain in very logical terms the relationship between algebra and geometry and I'm going to explain the uh, significance of certain algebraic functions. So let us start the video. Okay, so before understanding the relationship between algebra and geometry we need to understand certain key points. Now let us uh, define a point. Okay, a point is a pretty simple uh, fundamental unit in mathematics. So how do you define a point? A point can be defined in many different ways. For example, there are two lines. This is one line and this is another line. Now, this is the point of intersection. So a point can be uniquely defined as the point of intersection of two lines. Now, if this is a straight line, then this is a linear equation. So this linear equation will have will have the formula ax plus by plus c equal to zero. But since I'm also going to write the linear equation for this one, let me write here a1, b1 and c1. So the linear equation for this line should be a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0. So this represents this line and this represents this line. So these are both linear equation because the highest power of variables is 1. That's why they represent a straight line. So linear equation means equation of a line, L-I-N-E. From there you can understand what linear equation represents. So a linear equation represents a straight line. That's why they are called linear equation. So when there are two lines and they intersect at, at a point, then we can define that point as the point of intersection of two lines. Okay. Now let us first define a plane. Okay. What is a plane? A plane is any flat surface. For example, the table, the, the flat surface that I am writing. So this is a flat surface. That's why this is a plane. So any flat surface is called a plane. So there can be infinite number of plane. If you look at the uh, flat surface of my palm, then this is also a plane. This is also a plane. So for different orientation, I have one unique plane. Means there are infinite number of planes. A plane contains an infinite number of a straight line and a plane contains an infinite number of points on that flat surface. Okay, so how do you define a straight line? Just like a point can be defined by the intersection of two lines, a straight line can be defined as the intersection of two planes. For example, this is one plane, okay, and this is another plane. You can suppose this to be a cardboard. Then this is the point of intersection of this plane and this plane. So that is a straight line. So just like a point can be defined by the intersection of two lines, a straight line can be defined by the intersection of two planes. Very simple. Now, now let us come to the topic of simultaneous equation. So whenever you are solving simultaneous equation, simultaneous equation, the equations are like 2x plus 3y plus 1 equal to 0 and x minus y equal to 0. So these are two equations. Now the equations is like solve this simultaneous equation. What we are in fact doing is, so this is a linear equation as you can see. So it must represent a straight line and this is also a linear equation. So this must also represent a straight line. So if this is the line represented by this one and if this is the line represented by this one, then it is possible that they meet. So there are three possibilities again. One possibility is that they will meet. So if they meet, then there is solution because there is a point of intersection. But since x is an independent variable, generally we eliminate y and find the answer in terms of x because that's how our convenience works. So if the two lines meet, it is also possible that they do not meet. For example, when the two lines are parallel, then the lines do not meet. So when they do not meet, then there is no solution. What does it mean when I say there is no solution? It means that for no value of x and y, 
both the equations are satisfied simultaneously that that's the reason why we call simultaneous equation so if they meet then this point will satisfy both of these equations simultaneously that's why we call it simultaneous equation and the third one is so one possibility is that they will meet one another possibility is that they won't meet and there is one more possibility the possibility is like coincide okay they might also overlap so this is one line maybe the another line is like this maybe it is longer than the first one but since i am drawing this on a flat surface i cannot show you so maybe from here to here is one line and from here to here is another line maybe it is equal to uh, that line in length or maybe it is longer or shorter so what happens when they coincide then then for every point x y both the equations are satisfied simultaneously then what should be the solution in that case means infinite number of solutions because you can have infinite number of points that will satisfy both of these equations simultaneously so when they coincide then they will be parallel as well as they meet but the number of solutions will be infinite very simple so this is the simultaneous equation when both the equations are linear but it is also possible that one of these equation is a quadratic equation x square plus one now how are we going to solve this how are we going to solve this equation L let me make y here okay so these are two equations this is a linear equation and this is a quadratic equation but still they are simultaneous equation unlike the previous case where both the equations represented a straight line now since it is a parabola i can clearly see that the coefficient of x square is positive so i know for sure that this has to be concave upward maybe it is something like that roughly speaking that represents a straight line so there are again three possibilities one possibility is that they will meet at two points another possibility is that the line will meet the curve at only one single point in which case it is the tangent to that curve and another possibility is that they will never meet so like in this case it is below that curve so in that case the line is not going to intersect the curve 